change. In 1830, a wind of change rose up across the continental Europe. Most of the European states like Poland, Belgium, France, Portugal, Spain, Germany, and Italian states experienced the great revolutionary waves. So we need to understand the general causes of the 1830 revolutions in Europe. In other words, what were the general causes? Number one, the influence of the 1789 French Revolution led to the outbreak of the 1830 revolutions in Europe. The 1789 French Revolution gave birth to the doctrines and ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity. So when the French succeeded in 1789, this made the European people in 1830 to say, as the French succeeded, even as we are going to succeed. So the influence of the 1789 French Revolution led to the 1830 revolutions in Europe. Another one, the 1815 Vienna settlement also left a lot to be desired. We are like saying, for example, it restored despotic rulers in Europe. The diplomats at Vienna made a tactical mistake. They restored despotic rulers. For example, Ferdinand the First in Naples, Ferdinand the Seventh in Spain, Louis the Eighteenth in France, Charles the Tenth in France. These were dictators. That's why people rose up in 1830 to stage revolutions. Then censorship of the press. We are like saying today, like this in France, many newspapers were censured. You were meant to praise, to praise only one political part, only one political group. That is the restored baboons. You rise up against the restored baboon, your newspaper had to be censured. Because leaders censured the press, for example, in France. It is this that led to the 1830 revolutions in Europe. Then the existence of unfairness in the parliamentary system. We believe by this time, for example, in France, Charles the Tennis abolished the parliament. As Charles abolished the parliament, it is this that made people to rise up in 1830. Because they were against Charles the Tennis. Then unfair distribution of key government posts. We are like saying the unfair distribution of key government posts in the government. For example, in the New Kingdom of Netherlands, out of 39 ambassadors, only nine were Belgians. Altogether, it is this that annoyed that annoyed the Belgians. That's why they rose up to stage a what? A revolution. Then the weakness and downfall of the Congress system. We believe by this time, the weakness and downfall of the Congress system, a system which was so strong, a system which restored the legitimate rulers, finally collapsed in 1830. When it collapsed in 1830, it is this that made the masses to rise up and stage a revolution, claiming that a system that has been oppressing us has already collapsed. Then the negative consequence of industrial revolution. We believe by this time the negative consequence of industrial revolution. Industrial revolution made many people to move from villages to towns hoping to get what? Jobs. But in towns, some did not get the what? The jobs. Those that did not get the jobs had to rise up against the government, claiming that it was the responsibility of the government to solve their what? Their problems. So the negative consequence of industrial revolution. Then the success of the 1830 revolution in France against Charles the Tenet. We are like saying the success of the 1830 revolution in France when the 1830 revolution in France succeeded, this influenced other countries also to rise up and stage what? Revolutions. For example, the Italians. They were seeing, as the French have succeeded, even as we are going to succeed. Then, of course, 
the desire to bring an end of dictatorship. We believe by this time, people rose up in 1830 because they had a great desire to end what? Dictatorship. Because they wanted to end dictatorship, it is this that led to the 1830 revolutions in Europe. For example, in France, people wanted to lead to the end of Charles the tennis. Then, of course, the desire for fair constitutional system of government. It is said people in Europe, for example, in the New Kingdom of Netherlands, the Dutch rulers turned against constitutional system of government, favoring one group against the other. So it is this that made the masses to revolt in 1830. Then religious discontent. We are like saying, there was a question of religious discontent. For example, in France, only one religion was favored. That is Catholicism. So it is this that made the masses to rise up and stage a revolution in 1830, claiming that they wanted fair constitutional system, even they wanted to end religious discontent. Another one, they needed to attain unification and self rule. It is said some countries were rising up, for example, in the Italian states, German states, because for them, they wanted to attain unification or independence. I can tell you, there was in one country called Italy, there were Italian what? states. So these people rose up because they wanted to attain unification. They wanted to fight and create one big state called what? Italy. Even to create one big state called German. Then the role of the revolutionary leaders and focused intellectuals. We believe by this time, the role of the revolutionary leaders and focused intellectuals led to the 1830 revolutions in where? In Europe. By this time, I can say professors, lawyers, journalists, for example, big names like uh, Lafayette, Talleyrand, Louis Philippe, Lamartine, Adolf Thiers, all of these mobilized people to rise up against change. They were light to the society. In other words, they convinced people to rise up and challenge mm -hmm. the regime. Britain also contributed to the outbreak of the 1830 revolutions in Europe. I can say, Britain was supporting liberalism, so it gave moral support to all those countries fighting for liberty, fighting for freedom, and many people were influenced by the support from where? From Britain, then over taxation. It is said in different states in Europe, there was what you call over taxation. For example, in France, Charles the Tenet overtaxed the masses to raise the compensation funds. Mind you, Charles wanted to compensate the immigrants. Immigrants, these were nobles and clergy, even relatives of the Bourbon monarchy who were harbored in Austria. Their properties were destroyed. So when Charles rose up, he compensated the what? The immigrants. So he overtaxed people in order to compensate now, immigrants, then corruption and embezzlement of the republic funds. It is seed of public funds. We believe by this time, corruption and embezzlement of public funds left a law to be desired. The government officials wasted.